Okay, sweet. Take two. Yeah. My bad. All right. So that's the that's the cake that I made, <laughs> and then there's the there Arkansas State cutting board. Sophie made a German chocolate cake. Bunch of jig heads. Oven. Oven. Heat gun. Paint. Rack. Y'all got it. Bear with a trout. <laughs> Bear with a trout. <laughs> no it's a cookie jar. No cookies in the cookie jar. Sad about that, but. All right. My dad's back in. All right. Hey. Dad. All right. Welcome Fred. in. What's up, Travis? Dad. Travis. Bob Was he in before? In. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. My bad, guys. At first time, I kind of. Uh, Danimals is in. What's up, Dan? How you doing, man? Uh, fishing with the Parkers. Johnny Outdoors. Oh, Logan, Johnny's back. Sweet. Sorry about that, guys. Once you go live, it won't let you orientate. You have to set your orientation. And uh, I messed that up, so. My bad. Johnny said take two. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming back. Uh, where's my link? I'm watching Godsmack on stage right now. What? What's that mean? Who is? Danimals. Dang. Oh, John, man, Dan, I don't, uh, I don't stream with StreamYard, so I don't have a, uh, I don't have a panel. That's cool, though. Pretty sweet. I had just hopped on, and was, you was getting off. <laughs> My bad, Travis. Yeah, we had the orientation, like, set up wrong. Um, I'm two subs away from 100. Happy about that. Fishing with the Parker said that. Nice, Logan. If anyone doesn't have him, pick him up. Good dude out of uh, Arizona. They oh. with stained? Oh, they with stained? Nice. That's pretty sweet. This is going to be really shaky because I cannot control myself. <laughs> uh, Thumbaholic said taking notes. What's up, Corey? So, I got these little head and eye pins. Literally just out of the craft section. I have found that these work better than toothpicks. For stirring up your powder I like them because they're metal they don't not as much powder stick so there's not as much waste but this is black powder right here you want to keep it fluffed up just stir it up good whatever Danimal said I showed it be 98 but could be wrong the the bollock said where's dinosaur dinosaur dragon dinosaur hills <laughs> yeah Dills uh, is in there watching a Johnny watching said, a movie. Corey, make some noise. <laughs> yep, Dills in there watching the old iPad. Watching a movie. So. On a low volume so we don't get flagged. Yeah. I'll show you guys how I hold. I hold these by the eye. See that? <clears throat> I hold it by the eye. That way it doesn't ever clog up. And also, when you turn it over, it gives you a good angle for dipping that. I don't know how the audio is going to be with this heat gun, but... It's really not that loud. Yeah, it's not too loud. It instantly gets hot. Now you just heat that head up good. Not very long. Straight in the powder. Straight back out. I knock the extra off. It's just like that. That's all there is. So, a little black jig head. So, be good. And that's the rack. That's the rack out of the toaster oven. Um, I hang them up on there to cure. You got to bake them for three fifty at uh for twenty minutes. So, once you get them coated. I'll make three black and then I'm gonna try to put some red on that white, on those white heads. I feel like this is so shaky. That's all there is to it about coating those. These are eighth ounce heads here. I've gotta make a few more for our website. We're working on getting it updated. I've got to make a, um, I want to make a green eggs and ham for Corey, put it on the website, and I know he's really been liking that color. 
give some love to my my cookie jar bear that's holding a trout. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, there's the black jig head. So. It went up to seven. Now it says five again. All the way to five people. So these, I was saying, I've already got these coated. This is our old style. It's a heavy gauge hook. The VMC heavy hook. And uh, I'm just going to try it with the red with that. We've got somebody named Sleeper Barbecue. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Sleeper? He said, I think Corey eats green eggs and ham. I think so, too. He loves them. I know the catfish. And... Ooh, that is so red. Yeah, it is. That's crazy. Look how red that is. This just come in today, so y'all are getting to see it for the first time with us. That's pretty. I hope that looks really good. Yeah, I think it's going to be sweet. I'm excited about it. Well, with these, so I've already got these coated white. All I'm going to do is try to make them heat this up just enough so the powder will stick again. Get it good and hot. And then we should be able to just kind of flick that on there. Just kind of randomly. Ooh, that was a big. And I think something like that. It's just random. Did you get any on the side bottom? Put a little more down here. That's pretty sweet. What do y'all think? I think with some white and red on there, which I'll bake this again, and that'll cure. Uh, Big Mom said fire. You like it? He said, I see what you, what, what you do. Man, I think, Travis, I think you're the one who told me about that little paintbrush, huh? Uh, Johnny said, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Johnny. Man, that's cool. Johnny's awesome. That dude's been, uh, he's been making his own baits as well. He's been pouring some soft plastics. But his are, got some secret scent on there. Is brushing it better? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, I was going to try one brush and see what that looks like. Can you come a little more? Yeah. <laughs> we love you too, man. Pretty sweet. I think it's going to look good. And that paint, I mean, it's already, it's already dry that powder but go ahead and bake it it'll cure it a little more um i'm gonna actually put some like green on this one okay so i can put some green tail on it <coughs> bless you sorry yeah, we Ugly dog room. said evening, folks. Hey, what's up, Goose? Uh, uh, Big Mom said, looking good. Uh, the Laugh oh, channel Rock, said, Rocco. I'm just looking in the background. Nice. Thanks, Rocco. Appreciate you hanging out, man. <coughs> Sophie don't know everybody by name as much as I do. She's a lot busier chasing He tells me stuff, but... <laughs> yeah. Goose is the one, Ugly Dog Lures, all those baits that he sent us. Mm-hmm, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. 
But didn't he hand paint them? Yeah, he hand paints all of the stuff. And they're really pretty. See what this chartreuse does. I think it looks cooler just dusting it on there. Uh, these don't have eyeballs on it yet, do they? No, no. We'll okay. put those on after. After we get them sealed up. Everybody's just saying hello to everybody. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. A little white and chartreuse. It's going to look good with some green bucktail behind it. Johnny said, oh, my color with the <laughs> the face that's like blowing. Oh, smoke. yeah. Or I don't know. It's like a whew. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn this on. Set it 350. We picked this up for like $12 at a um, flea market. little flea market here in town. So. Uh, I like that too. Uh, Big Moon said I like that too. Orange would make a dream would make a dream sickle. Ooh, nice. I think got, he meant. Yeah, like the dream sickle candy bars. Oh, I thought it was an ice cream. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, we've got some orange, but don't know. You, you, the first time you did this was it was green and orange, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. That, yeah, it was a ball head though. I tried to make like a Cajun cricket, Bobby Garland cover color. Corey, there's a sixty fourth ounce. Uh, Corey said, I don't know if he's talking to you. I'm at the mailbox, like, oh, looking at it. <laughs> Is that for us? He's waiting on his package to get there. Oh, I think I sent that yesterday. Did yeah. I take it out the post office yesterday? A little bit of green, 164th. Yeah, that, uh, I doubt it. It probably hadn't made it yet, Corey. Obviously not if you're standing at the mailbox. <laughs> it's not going to come at this hour either. No. Oh, today, um... We had UPS wait, and... Wait, Charlie said, hi, Corey, I got mine. <laughs> uh, Big Mom said, my mom gave me her old toaster oven. My jigs... <laughs> oh, no. My jigs smell like chicken nuggets a few days when I first started <laughs> making them. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> and then uh, Corey said, I can't wait for mo green eggs and ham. Oh, yeah. I think you got three... Um, sure enough, green eggs and ham, and then you got some asbestos ones, and that's funny. That's cool. His his jigs smell like chicken nuggets. <laughs> that one's brand new. This is the only thing we've ever used this for. That's hilarious. What color you want? Let's do some of that blue one. Yes, and some more. Uh, you don't have enough pink ones either, or yellow. Pink or yellow? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my god. What? My dad said, my beard smells like chicken nuggets as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> dad, nobody needs to know that. God. <laughs> um, Ugly Dog said, lurking in the background. Nice. Thank you, Goose. Appreciate it. Let's do some 130 seconds. We've got 200 more oh. 64th ounces coming and... 48 more of our big bass heads. <laughs> D-Wayne. <laughs> I'll make Sophie some Not a lot of people call him that. No. I'll use them. Um, make you some of these blue 30 seconds. Yes, I really like ultralight fishing. It's a whole lot of fun. It is fun. I think it's easier to fill like a bite too. Yeah. Just because it's so light. That. Uh, uh, some, uh, the public said, slow down. Oh, my bad. Glitching. 
It's glitching. Oh. How do I get the map from Maryland? Man, that would be awesome, sleeper. Um, just put, drop an order if you wanna. If you want some jig heads, that's all we. Uh, if we ship jig heads to that state, it gets on the map. Yeah, everyone that orders, um, we've got our RockCreekBaitCompany.com. You can go on there, or you can message us on Facebook or Instagram at Rock Creek Bait Company. Uh, I don't know what he's saying. Corey? No. Oh. Big mom. What are you saying, Lindsay? I don't know. You ever gonna get a BFS set up? I don't know. I would like, it would be pretty sweet. It's a bait casting reel that can cast stuff like this, ultralight. It stands for bait finesse system. Oh. A sleeper said bass fishing. Oh, the bass fishing ones? Let's do one. What color do you want to see, sleeper? I got a whole bunch of them right here. It's a quarter ounce. Green eggs and ham sleeper is what Corey said. <laughs> uh, uh, Travis says he's he don't he doesn't have one. He was just wondering. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm really digging the ultralight, the four pound um, test line on that little ugly stick that y'all been seeing in our videos. A lot of fun. Do some pink or yellow now. Okay. Or not on the bass jig. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, oh, uh, uh, he said, yes, sir, pink and white. Sleeper, pink and white. Slipper did. Okay. So, white head or? White head and then try to dust some pink on there. For the bass jig. Uh, Corey said, just hold it in your hand. They take it. I got victimized again today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he put out a video that what is victimized. It was pretty sad. The whole, the catfish took off with it. But he went back and caught one. Okay, now Super saying green eggs and ham and, and a teal. But then he said sounds good. So white, white head. Okay. <coughs> so you want three total, correct? A teal one, a green eggs and ham colored, and a white with pink. Corey approves of the green eggs and ham. And you want those all in the bass jigs? You want three bass jigs, if I'm correct? This yellow glows in the dark as well. It's pretty cool. Okay, he said, and the pink and white, yes, yes, sir, three. Awesome. Okay. So, what is that? That is your yellow oh, wait, 16 uh, ounce. What? Do the bass jigs. Oh, you want to do his? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, you got to make them right now anyway. Yeah. All right, so we got <clears> let's get three <throat> of these out. Um, white. White. White with a uh, flex. All right. Paint. White. Make sure that's stirred up good. Main thing is so that your powder is really loose. Um, okay, why do you grab that one differently? This one I can't hold by the eye because I don't have room to get it in there. Oh. So these I have to clean off after I dip them. Oh. Because the container's not big enough? Yeah. Oh. Baby sign's coming. Yep. Dylan's stomping in here. What you doing, buddy? Just realized I can't see. My bad. Are you going to heat it up again? Yeah. And then do the... Um, fi fishing with the Parker said, where do you buy the paint? Um, Amazon, buddy. 
I just type type in powder paint. And it'll pull up. It is a um that Protec. Protec powder paint. Get the hard, durable, high gloss. And it's um it's really good stuff, man. And like you've seen, it's not it's not super hard. Um, sleeper wants to know: Is he getting just the heads, or will you be will you be tying them? Uh, no, absolutely. I'll tie. Yeah, I'm gonna tie bucktail on here for you. That's all I offer on bass jigs is deer tail. But um, if you want just heads, we can I can do that for you. But do you need a heat gun, or does a lighter work? Uh, a, a lighter, lighter works. probably would take a while. A lighter works. I used to do them over a candle. So, I mean, the only problem with that is anytime you use a lighter or any kind of exposed flame, it turns your jig head black. It'll burn it. it because of the soot from the carbon monoxide burning off. Um, the heat gun, you can pick up that cheapest one like this right here at Walmart for um, like 20 bucks. Um, Corey said teal, though. I don't know what he's talking about. He just said teal, though? That's all he said? Yeah, I don't know. Teal, though. Oh. He's just talking about... All I just did was clean that uh, eye out real He good. said, nope, want you to tie them. Uh, awesome. Corey been having all the fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what color? But there was a, we'll have to discuss later. Yeah. Um. And then Corey said, I know that's right. What? He's been having all the fun. Oh. Uh, lighter takes a little longer, and yeah, burns it. Heat gun works great. I have the same one. Yeah, hey. I mean, they're... Oh, it's a Wagner. That's a good brand. Yeah. They're not expensive at all. I'm going to put some paint on there. Dylan, get out of that cabinet. Pretty good, sweet. The thing about doing this is that each one is n there's never gonna be one that's exactly the same as the other one. No, they're all gonna be different for sure. Um, sleeper said teal blue, trying to look like bluegill. Okay, sweet. I've got um that blue that you've seen here. It goes on. Um, let me go back up. Let me see what you said before. Uh, pink and white. Okay, we got that. Green eggs and ham and egg tail. Yeah. Green eggs and ham, I'll put on a black head. Okay. Because that's kind of the, how I've been, the color they've been going on. And this one, I've got, uh, <coughs> I've got green and brown. I'll put on this, and it'll really look good, I think, with a bluegill. Okay. Corey keeps sending emojis. Corey's a trip. <laughs> <laughs> so we got paper and a pencil, books. He's taking notes. Dot, okay. dot, dot. Then dinosaur, dinosaur, dragon. Right. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Um, he said, a sleeper said looks good. Awesome. Uh, blackhead. Black. Oh, Corey said black. Blackhead goes best equals map, map now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. I oh, can't, baby. I keep forgetting to film this part. Oh. We got nine people on there. Nice. And six likes. Uh, Big Mom said, uh, congrats on 850. Thank you, sir. Appreciate and it. Corey said, Dill's dino. <laughs> Dill is the dino. Yeah, he's down there. I always like to put this lid back on because I'm clumsy and I'll drop those pliers and spill that paint. And this little two ounce, I mean, y'all see it in my hand. It's not a very big can. It's like 17, 18 bucks. So. Um, it's two ounces. Yeah. But on the side of it, it says that there is enough powder in there to coat. 3,000? 3,000 quarter ounce jig heads. So. Is that a quarter? Yeah, this is a quarter ounce. Um, we've got quick response fishing in. He What's up, hello. man? How are you doing? 
painting up some jig heads and doing some custom stuff tonight. A little different than just sitting in front of the camera and tying jigs like I usually do. Logan said what? That expensive? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty steep, buddy. There's a lot. But, but 3,000 3, jigs is insane. 3,000 is insane. I've not ever, I've probably not made 3,000 jigs in my life. Ouch. Uh, Johnny said, take pics of that color. I love how it looks. Fire. All uh, right. Yeah, I will uh, for quick sure. quick response said, doing well. Yeah, I came in at a good spot. Green is my favorite color. Nice. Yeah, that color is, um. It's green sparkles, but it's blue. It's teal or blue. Yeah, it's kind but of it does have it does have green in it. It's like, you know. Yeah, it's just kind okay. of okay. And then um. Straight black one. Oh, I can't remember what you said now. Green eggs and ham. Oh yeah, that's right. Can't forget about the green eggs and ham. I use that little. Uh, super thin grate. The same um the same little craft pen is all all that is like a little, for jewelry making. I use the same one for every color. I just wipe the powder. When it's not hot, that powder, you can see it, it just wipes, it comes right off. Corey said on the, on the fish brain and YouTube now. Nice. Thank I, you. I don't know if he's talking to you or he's talking. Yeah, he shared it on fish brain and YouTube. Okay. He has a huge following on fish brain. It's really? It's insane, yeah. How many, you got like 4,500 people or something? It's a lot. Oh my. You should turn the oven back on? Uh, no. I didn't know if you had room for any more. Alright. My... Also, your tray down on the bottom is messed up. I didn't know if you knew that. It's like pushed back too much. I did not know that. This black and white powder coat um, I buy from Harbor Freight in a 16-ounce jar. Oh, it's and we have four of them. And we've got four 16-ounce jars. I've got two black and two white. And they are going to just last for probably the rest of my life. Because How are you sending emojis? Scriptures. Oh, nice. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God in the right time. He will lift you up in honor. First Peter eight six. Awesome. NLT. I don't know what that means. The New Living Translation. Okay. Uh, four point eight k on fish brain. Four point eight k. That's insane. It's a lot of folks. And then Slipper is talking to him. If he's at um, I can't look at anything because I'm live, right? No, not links, but you can scroll down and chat. Okay. There you go. I got the eye. I always clean the eyes out prior to baking because if not, good luck after uh, after it's baked because they are insane. So we got sleepers three on that rack. These are all just randos. This is mine and Sophie's little section right here. This is something we're trying. Yeah, these are just experimental with the red. I wanted to try to make them look like they were bleeding. Some kind of a bleeding shad. I'll put white and red bucktail on there. Tie it with red thread. That'll look sweet. Um, Oven-wise, I think we're hot. It was already hot, so. Okay. We got 20 minutes on the timer. I got one little jig head left out. I can put them on. This is a 30 second. Uh, Logan asked, why do you bake them? The baking just kind of finalizes and cures that coat, the uh, powder on there. He said, do you have to? Uh, I don't, yeah, I would. It suggests it on the side of the container. It says, for maximum durability, hang and bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Always pop out eye before curing. So, I do. Uh, Thumpy said, Bobby and I's panfish anglers group is at 13.5K. Nice. That's awesome. Oops, my picking That's a lot of people. 
13k people all right and then like i was saying i got this little rack here and all that is is the oh i got it don't matter it's just a little rack out of the oven slide them in there don't let them touch each other let them let them bake all right make sure that the there's nothing touching the back of it all right. it freaks me out having yeah you're good we live in a cabin so yeah uh He said, so now I'm here bothering y'all. Who's that? Corey. Oh, you're not bothering us, man. I love that you're in here. What's up? Hey. I took the trash out and didn't put a trash bag in the... Yeah, I'll do that. Here, you take trash this. Trash can. Are you going to walk over there? Yeah. Are you going to... Okay. All right. Let me turn it. Turn it around here. What's up, guys? Hey. There's the sofa. Hey. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. All right, come over here while those are baking and we can tie some things. Look at the elk, elk antler. <coughs> Don't look too close, it's probably dusty. Anyway, that's our elk antler. Oh. All right. Love the house. Thank you, sir. Nice? Sleeper. All right. What's up? I don't need that blanket right now. It is 7,800 degrees. We can just leave it here, though, I guess. Okay. All right. Let's get situated. Sophie cracks me up. Good job, Mr. What? D. Wayne. <laughs> what? I don't know. Forgot the bag. Forget the bag all the time. Do you have to? In the trash can. Oh. He's a in the trash can. Okay. Get Thumpy to a thousand subs, <laughs> no doubt. Okay, Corey is something that's money again. Oh. What did he buy? Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Crack me up. The original spot, much better. Oh, yeah. That's the OG spot. Ask him what he bought. We haven't even done anything. I don't know. Oh, check out these guys I tied a minute ago. These are, looks like where me and the wife went on honeymoon, the Lazy Bear Cabin. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I got black bears. Yeah, we got all the bears and stuff. I love bears. If I can hold that still. I put some green hackle on there. That's a 64th ounce head. And that thing is going to, I don't even honestly know if it's going to sink. I've made several just kind of messing around, really buggy looking. That one's out of a fake, it's basically like a stuffed animal. It's a fur. My side. The lazy bear cabin. <laughs> a bit annoying. Okay. It's okay. bunch of little look at this guy that dude is wild right there that's crazy bunch of this really buggy that's it for me tonight bye guys hopefully in the morning i have 100 subs yes sir post a short man before you go to sleep and uh, usually shorts are good for at least a couple of subs. So they had everything covered with bears. The headboard was chainsaw carved bears too. Nice, that's awesome. My papa um, chainsaw carves bears. Ten o two. So by ten twenty, we'll be we'll be good to go get those heads out. The green one here. Yeah, we live on Friday night. Quite a bit different than than usual, but I laid that down in some juice or something. There's my hairs are wet. Look at that little fluff ball. 
I don't know if that one's going to sink either. It's a 64th ounce. We all see how crazy that hair is on there. That is wild right there. And there is a hook under there. On the top. Made my evening when I saw the notification. Awesome. I'm glad you stopped in here. Hairs for Matt. <laughs> that pink jig jig stayed. Stayed where? Let's see if I got anything up here. That one's pretty sweet. I put some sleeper. That's what it'll look a little more what yours will look like, you know, finished having the bucktail on there. On the top of over here. Oh, this guy. Red. Oh, on the top of the water, the pink jig stayed. Really? Well, it was a 164th. One of the pink jigs that I sent him, I guess, stayed. It floated. Did he get it wet? Yeah. It didn't sink? No. It had too much hair, I guess. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> See, if you let your um, almost chow time, spend some time with the fans before bed. Peace, y'all. Thanks, Rocco. I appreciate it, man. That's what happens whenever you uh, paint, you know, pink and green and hang them on the same row and they touch while they're baking. You get a um, <laughs> pink, I mean, a green dot on the side of your pink, pink head. So that one's kind of ruined. Unfortunate, but I'll use it. We'll use it somewhere. Yeah, it's a... Too much you can always trim, for sure, yeah. That's kind of like my... How we look at it as well. All right, try to get that down some. Let's tie a couple while we're waiting. These are 64th ounce. How do you trim? With your old fingernails. <laughs> Did it go under after you trimmed it? Oh, I got some new threads today too. Check these out. Sorry, that box was hard to... You scared me. Look at this. Olive green. Some orange, some lime green. Yeah, and then black and white. Pretty neat. But that olive green right there is so nice. Corey, you know the other night on BK's Live, I was asking about 6 aught, and they acted like they didn't know anything about it. Right there, six aught. It is tiny. This is actually gonna be for my flies, the actual fly side, because this this thread is teeny, teeny, tiny. But they um, the guys were acting like they never heard of six aught thread, so maybe it's more of a fly tying thing too. Oh, <coughs> boom! Look at that. Oh yeah, official business, business cards. There's sleeper. If you want to screenshot that, there's our information. Make it a little easier for you to reach out. You got my phone number down there and everything. So Burger King. Burger King. <laughs> That's what Travis I said. I love chicken fries. Do you? Yes. Have it your way. <clears throat> SK. Is that their skill. logo or their motto? Shill. Huh? Burger King, have it your way. Is it, is it really? Yeah. Oh. Handcrafted in the middle of nowhere. Pretty sweet. And we're just talking about olive green. It's in the case now, but pretty close. Anyway, pretty excited. We got 500 of those. 
Heard BK? Oh. <laughs> we were saying BK. Oh, is it SK? Visual quality is real bad for some reason. <laughs> BK. Ooh, I'm on the Wi-Fi. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are you on the Wi-Fi? Yes. Oh. Let me turn... Um, let me turn the camera around. See if this helps. Does that make it any better? Maybe. Looks way better. Awesome. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I should have done that. That's the back. Got it. Good deal. Yeah, I was just showing off our business cards. Bob, I see that? They came in today. They come in today, so... Which is the day that they said that they would come in. It's May 12th. In the back side. What are you doing? I was just showing them the... Why is it facing that way? Because of... um. The back camera focuses better. Oh. This might work out to... Look, I could put these down there and show you guys. Let me... um. Man, that would be, that would be perfect. Man, John is going to be, be blowing me up. Why? He said I got his digits now. Oh. Look at that. That may work out good right there. Can y'all see that better? That's a 64th ounce head. You know, there's my finger. It's like a BB. <laughs> it's insane. There is a hook in there somewhere, but all right, I turned it back around towards me. We'll rig that up though. That might work out good for live streams. Being able to show that puts it right in the center of that light ring. Cause y'all are in like a light, the light ring. You see it in my glasses, but you're in like a light ring that is, um, it's got like a phone holder right in the center of it. We set up that black background and then we can flip the camera and they can, it'll focus better on the jigs once we make them. You've got flies on your face. Where? You got it. It was oh. right in your middle of your eyebrows. All right. Better pay them good, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, did you ask Corey what he bought? Plug that thing up. I had flies on my face too. <laughs> it happens. All right, I already got one up there. Oh, check this out. Look at all this. That is a whole bag of different colored flash. <laughs> he said the first installment. <laughs> oh. Look at all those colors of flash. Oh, that come in today as well. We got the new thread, the um, and my mother's eggs. all the flash. That's a nice pink, kind of a pink sheen. That's gonna look sweet. That's not pink, is it? It's kind of a no, that's um, like silver. Silver, look at all that. That one's pink. This one's pink. Golds and purples and pinks and blues and... Well, you, you left half of them in the bag. <laughs> Corey. He's a gosh Look at it. this red one. I <laughs> love this red one. Oh, yeah. Look mm. at all that. Look at all this stuff, man. It's insane. We're going to be able to make colors for days. This is white and this is pink. Yeah. I like it. I can see how you think it was pink, though, because it was... It is a little... Corey's Maybe, in America. I don't know what's going on. If It's... Trans, it's that one's weird because it like looks pink, pink sometimes, but it also like looks green. <coughs> In person, it's way pink. 
if you look through it, let me turn this around. Look at it in the light. See how pink it is in the light? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Right here, it's like super pink in the light. But anywhere else, it's... That's crazy. That's awesome. Looks green exactly. I know it. That oh, no. Fade. It's like that one dress. I know. Have, it was pink or green blue? or blue. Yeah. Good Lord, that thing was a... I think... Like Mom this... Mom wants a picture of our business card. Like this is orange. Looks glow in the dark. Watermelon. Oh, yeah. Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> Big Mom. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, Travis. We get a kick out of the stupidest thing sometimes. All right. My bad. Tie one. I guess I'll put this in here and haven't tied one since. What have you been doing? I don't know. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> don't, Corey put a water droplet, water Malone, and then put them <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, he got jokes. That was funny. Water Malone. He put a water droplet. Hey, what's up, Dathan? How you doing, bro? Is, is Travis even still in there? Yeah. Okay. How you doing, man? That's We're hanging out. My father-in-law says it all the time. Nice. All right, sweet. Jolly Bait Company. How you doing, man? We're hanging out Friday night. These are some bomb pictures, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, generally try to go live on Saturday night. Nice. That's some pretty good pictures. Yeah, it is. We try to go live on Saturday night, but tonight we uh, wanted to go ahead and go live because tomorrow we're going to try to go fishing. And if we don't make it in time, trying to catch some fish on the flies you made this weekend. Nice, man. That's awesome. Take pictures of them. We appreciate it. Showing up. We got new business cards in. Stuff for it. Jolly make some noise for sure. That's awesome, man. Fly fishing's gonna be sweet. Thumpy, does he got a Helgramite? Yeah, he's got a Helgramite. He's got a sweet Helgramite. You uh, you need to check it out. <coughs> I put that thing on a little Ned rig head in a creek, and it oh, slays some creek fish. We've got some good bass on this Helgramite. Give me, give me that. What are you looking for? I'm cold. <laughs> All right. That's why I'm trying to put my feet in my ears. Let's see. Oh, the swim bait. Are we talking about the swim bait? Because it is the most excited I've ever been for anything. <laughs> what are you talking about? The I don't know. I heard, you know, that we might be getting a swim bait. No, Jolly might be getting one one of these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, you told me that. I know. It's going to be sweet. Replace my contacts. Hmm? They'll replace my contacts, probably. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's going to be sweet. A Jolly swim bait on an underspin? Can you imagine? It's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Get some tinsel off this little card. I know. Look at the... So we've got that bag of tinsel, wherever it went. I have no idea. Oh, okay. look at this bag of tinsels with this bag of flash with those seven colors of paint you've already seen. We've got every color imaginable in Marabou. Even rainbow. I mean, any color y'all want, we can make it. Didn't realize how expensive swim bait with hairs. I'll put hairs on it. I'll put some bucktails out the back of one of those swim baits. Um, do you want Thump me to put, fuel. <laughs> is it okay to put um, a picture of our business cards on Facebook? Yeah. Didn't realize how expensive they are. Haven't used them much. Yeah, they're... They're crazy, like a dollar a piece, man, for sure. They're um, they're pretty, they're pretty insane.
All right, yeah, they're like a dollar a piece. Thumpy rabbit. Oh, the thumpy. Thump fuel. Thumper the rabbit, yeah, I got you. What movie is that off of? Bambi? I don't know. Rabbit foot, green eggs and ham. I'm wanting to, one of these days, get some new tying tools. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so we just painted up several of them. And once this live's over, I'll re, uh, repost it. And you can watch it. It's at the very, very, very beginning of this live. I'm actually about to go get them. Um, they're actually probably done, like right now. But... So what you do, you, you can watch the beginning, take the heat gun, heat them up, dip it in that paint. It's super quick, and then you bake them for 20 minutes to let them cure. And then they cool off like almost instantly whenever you take it out of the, out of the oven. Let me go get them. Yeah, if you want to. Do you want me to take them back over there? Or? No. no. You just bring them. That, that, that would be too bad. Take them out the oven. That's it. Yeah, we're just, she's just going to go take them out the oven. Yes, yeah, try not to let any of them clang together. Seen that before, pretty cool. What? I was trying to figure out how we'll keep them out of there. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, Bambi, that's what I thought. Yeah, Travis, I'm gonna try to, man. Um, we really need some watch time, big time. So, probably start trying to go live as much as possible. Oh, we went catfishing yesterday. But yeah, yeah, we are. To answer your question, we're going to try to go live. We'll go live tomorrow night as well. But they can't just until they cool off because they'll stick. Out there in Newport. Hey, Jessica. Welcome in. How is everyone doing? We're out here in Newport, Oregon. You out there with Reef? It's rich, daughter. Oh. Don't mention catfish. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, yeah, we caught 12. 12 catfish yesterday. But they are... um. They were very much stocked. We good? Yep, awesome. Ladies and gents and thumpy... I'm off to bed. Johnny, I appreciate it. Reef will be here tomorrow, and Triple D is here with us right now. Awesome. Sounds like a great time. Are y'all crabbing, I'm assuming, or just anything fishing? Everything's still hot, but I'm going to here. Okay. Good night, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. Holler at me anytime. That little red. Oops. Fresh baked. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So let's let's do this thing. I think we can just. The lips not hot to you? No, these they're not hot now. The pan still is. The, yeah. Uh, All right, let's um figure out a way to get. Or do you just want to hold it? I'm gonna have to. Like that. Let me see. What are you trying to do? She's trying to get that so she don't have to hold it. I'm lazy. If y'all know, if y'all. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Is it All stupid? Right. No, that's good. <laughs> so there's the finished baked on product. 
on that red. And you see how glossy it is now? <coughs> Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty sweet. Surprisingly, I think I think it turned out really, really nice. What do y'all think? It is glassy. Yeah, it's gonna be. Man, it just looks like it's just splattered, which was the goal. I mean, I was going for, you know, a blood splatter. There's the green. Oh hey hey, while I'm on Facebook. Tell everybody that has a oh yeah a Facebook to let me know and we will go like it. Does anyone have a um a Facebook page? Sophie is on Facebook right now and she'll go. She says she'll go like y'all's pages. She's went through and subscribed on her personal account to everyone. <laughs> looks great. Looks like it's wounded. Looks like a bleeding shad, dude. That is awesome. That's good to hear. Yeah, sleeper. That's your pink. That pink splattered one. You see how glossy it finishes after you bake it. It is so nice. <laughs> Bay, I'm I'm digging it. I like it. The black is uh the black is kinda you know, it's just black. But this teal check out that teal color. Look at that. All right, looks like it's wounded. Sleeper teal. Jessica said they have Facebook. Okay, what is the name? Just is Jessica Smart and then Rich Smart. They make that thump huh. and copper and gold. Nice. A mirror head. That would be Facebook. sweet. I meant a page. Oh, like a... Not friending people. Oh. No, no, no. No. We, oh, you're looking for a, like... Yeah, a page can like another page. Oh, okay. Are you on a Rock so Creek like, account right now? Yeah. So, like, today I I liked and followed... Not the Outdoors? Yeah. Okay. I think she's looking... Do y'all have, like, your um Pacific Northwest Lip Ripper? Does it have a page or anything? I don't think so. I think it's PNW Lip Rippers is their YouTube channel name. Go ahead and get my phone plugged in here and get y'all turned back around here. Okay, you got to make floaters. Tonight at least. Yes, I'm going to do that right now. Oh, we saw a floater yesterday. Ooh, I told Novi, Novi about that. About the... Funny. No, don't got a page yet. Okay, not... About the catfish? Yeah. Oh, um, Navi featured us on his Faithful Fan Friday today on Instagram. Facebook. Just super cool. Oh, his Instagram too. But oh, on Facebook too. He um, he's an awesome dude. But yeah, we went catfishing yesterday to um, to that little college pond that y'all have seen us at. They had a uh tournament, catfish tournament <coughs> for the school on <coughs> um. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, yeah. They stocked it Monday, had a tournament Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday, you know, whatever is free, free for the public after that. The it was like a little kids tournament for um for fishing. But there was a floater, catfish there. Yeah. I said, uh oh, that's a floater. That's not a good thing. It was pretty funny. He come into our first live and then I bounced and funny. No, don't go page. No floaters. Seen a floater today, crappie. Oh, mm -hmm. that's sad. All right. So this one you wanted to look like a bluegill. I'm thinking brown and green tail down the side. And I've got these barred rock feathers. But if you don't mind, I'll put one in there. It looks awesome. So you tying tomorrow too? I'm like all ready and stuff. I'm absolutely tying. Changed my plans. <laughs> what happened? You had plans for tomorrow? Oh man. 
I built a um, one that looked like a bluegill and I took it to work. It's actually in my toolbox right now at work. I have a little display that I set up on top of my toolbox. But it, uh, Mama's Day soon, absolutely. Yeah, Sunday is about Mama's. We're going to be so busy. Yeah, we got... We have two two houses to go to. Yep, we got... And church. Church will have and a big have Mother's a Day thing. Not a missionary. We have a evangelist. Yeah. We we'll have an evangelist preacher there for us. Go for it. Awesome. Yeah, I built that um that bard rock. It'll look really good whenever I'm done, I promise you. It's pretty cool. And my box of tails here. So the green eggs and ham uses this avocado colored guacamole tail. But for the bluegill pattern, I go more... Oh, yeah, I've got some green flashy tinsel right here. It's going to go in there, too, if that's all right with you. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. Oh, Mama, you're so sweet. What? I didn't hear you. I know. That's the different colors of green. So that's the bluegill kind of green that I've been using. That's a mustard, and then this is the chartreuse. So you can see it compared to chartreuse is that that green. I use the green for the bluegill patterns. And let's, let's put some thread on first so I don't have it sitting there in my hand. Hopefully you'll be able to see somewhat. I know the video quality on the forward facing is awful, but there's no way for me to see if I do on the rear facing. <coughs> I'll either be not being able to see the chat and turn the phone around or um, not see what I'm doing because I'm having to look over the phone. So. All right. Can you move that down yes. there? It, none of it's hot anymore. All right. Let's try to make this one look like a bluegill. Passenger, you driving? Awesome. I'm glad nonetheless. <laughs> Tinkerbell and her sister Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That was so funny. <laughs> All right, let's get some of this. And this is insanely long. These hairs are, I mean, compared to that jig, see how long, long they are. This is actually for um, the guy I get these tails from makes these long fibered ones more for musky, making musky lures. But we don't have a uh, muskie here in Arkansas. We do have pike, but actually I don't think that they're pike. We have chain pickerel. Gave all my bass stuff away. What? I want to start over. Big Malone, have any ideas? <laughs> Rod and reels and everything gave away? Man, I had a guy at work got rid of all of his bass, all of his fishing stuff, period. Seven foot, medium heavy, do it all. Absolutely. Trim slightly. Yeah, it's a, what I do, it's a little bit too long. So what I do is I cut, just shorten it down just a little bit. And then that leaves me, you know, an inch or so still on the tail to make little crappie jigs or flies or anything else too. Put some green on here. I'm just stingy now. I kind of got, got it un, untidy. It's all 
kind of loose and weird. Put it in that stacker though. That gets the ends a lot more squared up. A lot better to tie with. Fat fingers. One piece, my opinion, one piece, 100%. Oh, did nobody like so? Did anyone like Sophie's bear holding the trout? She said nobody it's said a, something. It's a cookie jar. Her cookie jar bear holding the trout. Now let's grab some brown. Somebody's selling this house, mm -hmm. and this is the kitchen. It doesn't have any drawer uh, doors. Hello. That's weird. <laughs> I like lose nice combos, about eighty bucks. Still throw my 15 year old Shakespeare. That pan fishing Sophie did though. Oh man, I know it. She's a beast out there in the creek, I tell y'all. At least because I'm shorter. Is it because you're shorter? I can get in all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> it gives you an <laughs> I advantage. I don't know. Being short. <laughs> goofball. That doesn't help being like wading in the water. Anywhere close to you. <laughs> yeah, that gives me the advantage. I can get a lot deeper than you. Always use new parts of that line. Okay. We got a tired talk coming at us. So that brown and green mix them together. I just kind of rotated it around so that the brown's even around it. <laughs> Ridiculous. I said it to that. I want a bass of Malone. No joke. <coughs> How you doing? Be you careful. Okay? Four pound holding. Be careful. Always use new parts of that line applied. Come here. Nice. What you doing? I wish I could bass like Malone do. He's yeah. slacking us here. Do what, babe? He hasn't had a bathroom break all day today. Dylan? I don't think so. Oh, he did this morning. Okay. Oh. Dylan, what are you doing, bud? Isn't that pretty? I love this color. This is a... What do they do to these tails? They're so soft. That dude, do they wash these? Yeah, he boils them and, and all like kinds soap? of stuff. Yeah. Like with soap? I just can't get over this part. This part is disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Like, this one's nice. I don't know what they did to this one, but it looks nice. This right here. This black stuff looks nice. Yeah. They're so fluffy. Yeah, you kind of left some, left some Would meat. Would this float? Probably. I think deer hair is hollow. What do you mean hollow? It's hair. Hollow. I think that's why it makes good. Oh. Get that tinsel, I'll get it where it's where it's the same, about the same length there. And pinch it off, cut it, and double that over okay. again. Okay, baby. He's cold. He cold, buddy. Mm -hmm. You ride right now with our bed? Same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, Put your head back. Lean back. There we go. Catfish magnet. Looks good. Thank you. There you go, baby. Good? You want it up there? There you go. Put that down yeah. the side. Mm -hmm. 
What do you mean to do? Show you in there? There you go. I'm He's comfortable now. Around. And, um, some of that stuff for my swim jigs. Yeah, that tinsel, man. You can, I bought that, this giant bag. Travis, that big bag of this stuff off Amazon. I'll, I'll send you the link on Instagram to it. Okay, but, can these touch down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's good. But it's, um. All right, this is the rest of his. I want to say it was like maybe 10 bucks or something. I mean, it's really not, not you expensive. You do want it? The flash is one of the most the most inexpensive part of all this is that flash for sure. All right, turn that back around, and I'll double it over. Get it all cinched down some. Not exactly knife that. All that crazy stuff right here, get it cut off. Justin with kayak fishing uses a hair jig as a trailer. Huh. Didn't somebody tell you to do this one? With Which the one? green? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Food for thought, right on, it's not bad. No, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. <coughs> if you just type in, um, flash crystal flash. flash, do what? Mm -hmm. My flash is what? You get out of the place, it was over here under my feet. Oh. Yeah, if you type in crystal flash on Amazon, it'll pull up just a bunch of options. Oh, no, that's empty. Don't need that. Only catfish rig I know is a Carolina. Man, the catfish rig we used yesterday was a bobber, a split shot sinker, weird? and a worm. Because there was a KFC cup sitting in it. And it sweated. What's the new oh, recipes? Crap. What? Oh, honey, she buried that little 64th ounce sickle hook Did you in, make our, this one tonight? in our weighted blanket. Yeah, I made that one tonight. <laughs> oh. She buried it in our weighted blanket. Did you get it out? Yeah. That's kind of a... That was dumb. A miracle, honestly. Lance... I ripped the blanket. Oh, okay. I bet that's, that may be sleeper. I don't know. Somebody mm -hmm. wants to send me a message. On Instagram? Yeah. You can't do anything while you're live. Yeah, I know. Oh, this one's pretty. Can I have this one? Yeah. Somebody's. Nope, that's yours. Something stinks. Oh, it's that. It's the deer tail, yeah. Grab the bolt cutters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. I'd grab the knife and cut the blanket before I cut that jig. Where's Gracie? Okay, awesome, Lance. All right, good to meet you. I don't, I don't guess I ever knew your first name. So, I'll um, I'll message you back. I'm on my phone right now, currently, so I don't, I can't, don't have access. Look at that barred rock feather down, down the side of that thing. I think it looks sweet. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it looks great. You like the feather? Is that a barred rock chicken? It's a barred rock chicken. I'll cut that little fluffy end off. And leave just the... It's actually a barred hackle feather. What? What? You barred don't like it? Barred rocks are my favorite chicken. Well, you should love this jig then. Something died for that to happen. Something died for this tail to happen too. Well, I don't care about the tail. <laughs> Like a bajillion deer, my goodness. Baby, something died to feed us tonight. Okay, listen. They literally breed cows to for food. They breed chickens for food, too. Not barred rock. 
Nobody eats Blood Rock, do they? You also talk who? Oh, catfish, kayak catfish. Are you going to tell them about what happened at the marina? What happened at the marina? Oh, my God. Do you want me to? Matt, heck yes, awesome. Sorry, thump one minute, please. <laughs> We haven't released that video, have we? No, we've got a, um... You cut it out, right? Yeah, we haven't even edited it, I don't think. Tell them. Alright, well, I'll tell you guys, but it's not going to be in the video whenever it releases, but... Because we're going to edit it out, because it was really sad. Um... He says as he's laughing? I it was, it was, it was funny after the fact. Okay, so what happened is we went, we took some of our six or 30 second ounce maybe. Which is going to be a banger video, I'm just saying. It's going to be a really good video. We caught a ton of crappie. We went to a marina um, about, you know, a couple hours from the house or an hour and a half from the house. What am I looking at? And, uh, what is that? It's just a crazy. Is that hack? Uh, fuzzy, No. So what am I supposed to steal? Just all of it. Just okay. yeah. But anyway, we caught this um we caught some crappie. I think it was like the first one that I got. Caught also. a bunch of crappie. Yeah. I don't know what happened though. Yeah. I and think it was like the first or second one that I caught. Yeah, like first or second fish that Sophie caught, she it flopped and she oh, dropped no. it and it hit the um it hit the bank. Oh, it hit the dock. And it she was trembling. It, it was trembling. It hit just right, I guess, and it was like shaking. Thought this was going to be about the fish with one eye. Oh yeah. That was pretty wild too. That dude just kinda That was, wasn't the same. He was day. just there. But anyway, he um it ended up dying, that little crappie that she caught. So we're not gonna put that in the video, but she it. cried. Like actually tears run down her face. Was crying because she was upset that she killed this fish. She didn't mean to. Oh, honey, Stop she's kind of upset right now. Made me feel horrible. <laughs> it was so sad. She's got such a huge, awesome heart. Okay. And she felt really bad about that fish. It is all on video, but we're not gonna put it in the video. Yeah, we don't want to put it in there. But I don't need y'all to see me like that. <laughs> Yeah, like your wife. Yeah. What? Malone said, so like my wife. So like my wife, yeah. I mean, I'll eat fish and, like, catch fish and, like, keep fish and all that. But they didn't have to die like that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you talk about the cat pigeon? Yeah, we caught 12 catfish yesterday at the... We got it on video, too. College Pond. That'll be a pretty good video coming out. What are you doing now? Oh. I was just showing them that. Dylan will be in that one, and it's it's always crazy when we take him fishing. <laughs> yeah. He gets so done with stuff, like, really, really easily. Just <sighs> You release with grace. Yeah, she does. Travis said she'll see, talking about his wife, she'll see a three-day-old roadkill raccoon and say, oh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I think I'm going to put a green band on there. It's kind of... This one time, I, I'll, tell them, camp. I'll tell them this, this cute little anecdote. Okay. Me and Matthew had first gotten married, and we went over to his papa's house to visit. And they have a, they have a what, what is she, a blue healer? Mm -hmm. Ruby. She's a blue yeah. healer mix. She's just kind of a... Just kind of a, a mutt everything, or something, yeah. yeah. So, their dog... I was sitting there, you know, being polite and everything. And Ruby, their dog, <laughs> come up beside me, sat, lay down beside me. And she had went out in the field and caught a baby rabbit. I mean, a baby rabbit. Like, it was... It was probably, like, that big. It was and like tiny. It was probably, like, that big around and she sat right beside me and ate it, crunched and everything. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah, it was fun. I remember that. Yeah, she. Do you remember that? 
Yeah. Uh oh, iPad died. Oh no, it didn't. When I was dating my wife 49 years ago, the car in front of us hit a possum. I thought she was going to have some type of attack. The scream pierced my ears. Oh, no. Oh, that's sad. that's sad. Who said that? Sleeper. Oh. Here, buddy. You want this one? Uh-huh. You need a big one? No, I don't want the big one. <laughs> Put that green band on there just kind of for... More for just detail than anything else. Just because we're live and pretty neat. I think they look good with that band. It adds a little color to the body. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, we have a garden now. Oh well, yeah, we got we got a garden. We got have, a we have. It's probably two thirds tomatoes though. Yeah, we got. <laughs> Nine tomato plants. <laughs> no, it's like I think it's like eighteen or something. Like we have a lot. We have Roma and like regular. Looks great. Good deal. All right, hand me the apple. Hmm? I think this is the eyeballs right here. If y'all didn't know, I put the eyeballs on. Yeah, it'll have. Oh no, eyes. I need another eyeball sheet. Um, we just can't. It's got. We've got sheets of eyeballs. Sophie puts those on. She's she's about to put that put them on right now, and then she'll uh, seal it up. But... I All thought right. I had another sheet out already. Lord help! I am so sorry. All right, it's a party. We're having, <laughs> having a good time now, aren't we? Yeah. What is that little dude doing? What is He's it? Just hiding out over here. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Are they okay? Is everybody okay? Is everybody okay? We dropped y'all. Are y'all good? They feel drunk. Okay, I need this. Uh oh. My dog is acting crazy. Storm's coming. All right, Corey said, okay, I want to ask a serious question. Here, do this one next because... Okay. Or do this one next. This one's the most custom. Yeah. Is there googly eyes? Oh, Travis is hurt. <laughs> Big Malone down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we can do for it. My bad, buddy. Is drink, there googly drink some eyes? Pepto. Drink some Pepto. Googly eyes would be pretty sweet, honestly. They sell. <laughs> We've. <laughs> I'm gonna just see a fish going. What is uh, that? What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? You want to eat that? I don't. Yeah. You know, because sometimes one eye will be looking this way, the other eye will be looking that way. <laughs> it would be pretty funny to have googly eyes. Pepto, I have no idea. What? Travis said Pepto with like a question mark. Oh, I thought he said he was feeling sick. <laughs> because you dropped him. Yeah. Oh. Drink some Pepto. I don't think Pepto helps with uh, motion sickness. Oh, does it not? Nausea. <laughs> Indigestion. Heart what am heart? I doing? Oh, okay. stomach. I almost put the green <laughs> eggs and ham on that did, jig. Did anybody else hear the jingle? Or? <laughs> yeah, LOL. All right. Googly eyes. Hey, we went to um, Hobby Lobby one time, and we found a googly eye. Oh, no, yes, it, it was, was like huge. Probably six-inch diameter. It was massive. It was the biggest googly eye I've ever seen. I took a picture of Sophie holding it. It was really funny. All right, so... We had some small ones, too, but that big one was... The big one was Interesting. Huge. All right, let's do pink. Pink and white. I think we'll just make it all white with um, Add pink in it. just a bunch of pink flash. What do you think? Okay, that's that weird one that isn't pink but looks pink. There's, yeah, there's one back here. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, no, there's two. There's another one. Just put a green eggs and ham on it. <laughs> Corey wants to see that green eggs and ham. I think that's purple. Yeah, let's go with this. This is more... That matches the head better. So. What? I have absolutely... Okay, that one's pink. One of those looks more purple. All right. I like this stuff. It's pretty cool, though. All right, so just straight white with a bunch of that pink flash. Okay, is he going to, like, message you or whatever? For, like, yeah, yeah. We'll need, like, details. 
He um he messaged me on Instagram. I just can't can't get there yet. That's it freshly sealed. That's it when it's freshly sealed. Let me turn it around. Bacon and sausage. Alright. There you go with the eyes on there and the sealed threads. Man, that looks good, Bay. You're awesome with that. Do they look like googly eyes? It's kind of... <laughs> there you go. Are they, they even? Look? Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right, let me flip her around here. And then I've got this little rack right here. How about that for you? Hang her up and let her dry. Awesome. Good deal. Doing nothing. All right. Now then, bacon and sausage. We got um, green eggs and ham, bacon and sausage. Let's get a deer tail so out. So bacon and sausage Glamour would be shots. Yeah. like maroon and brown? Maroon, like for the pig? Ew. I don't know. What are they talking about? I have have no I missed idea. something? I don't know. I've missed something. Okay, I've got plenty, or not plenty, but I have some white tails. I want these two right here. Which two? These two fluffy ones. Unless somebody uh, else has them. These two right here. No, I just made all those for us to mess around with. Okay. Pink and brown? Brown, you think? What do you think, sleeper? You want all just straight white? Straight white with like a... I don't have any pink hair, but I could do a bunch of white with pink tinsel, a bunch of pink tinsel. I was trying to see what else I had that was pink. You could put pink, whatever dilly on it. What dilly? That? Right there? No, that's not gonna be. Mm. Not for a bucktail, it'd be weird. Uh, do you have any pink feathers? Oh, we're talking about the bacon sausage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do you have any pink feathers? Pink and brown, yeah. Um, I have pink marabou. That's red. Ooh, clutch. All right, I do have pink. Just kidding. I do have pink deer hair. It's not a lot, but... I've got some pink buck deer hair I can mix in there as well. White and pink tinsel. This is a sample pack, so that's all we have yeah. for that. All right. And probably not green thread on that one. <coughs> you got any pink thread? I do have pink thread. Billy Bob. Mm. What are you doing? Potato. Mm. Are you going to say hi? Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> Yes, please. Awesome. All right. Let's get some pink thread. Uh oh. I think my favorite things to seal and do is the eyeballs on the and sealing on the bugtails. Really? I like putting eyeballs on it. I think it's fun. Do you know where my drill is at? Do you know the muffin man? <laughs> the muffin man <laughs> holding out on the pinks. That is literally. Oh. You Every single to, bit of pink that I own is that. You used it to make my garden, my waste bed. Yeah. So when, then where'd you put it? Did you bring it back in the house? Yes. Or is it on the porch? It's in the house. All right. Dylan, Bob Bob said hello. He's kind of in a mood. Thinking on a new pot pie. Nice. A Cajun pot pie? That would be so good. It's not outside, honey.
I don't know. I can just wind it by hand. It's not that big of a deal. It'll take longer. Yeah, but if we, I don't know where the drill's at. I don't either. All right. I'm going to run by combining turtle soup with shrimp or crawfish in a half shell, whatever floats. Yeah. But spicy is key. I usually wind this on with a drill, but my drill is MIA. What'd you do with it? Did you do something with it, boy? You got daddy's drill? Huh? You got my drill? You don't have it? Okay. I can't go. It's on the floor? Yeah, we built um, a couple of raised beds. Or we built a raised bed. Duh. We need to build seven another one. Foot by it's a seven foot by three foot Why raised. I build a smaller one. I've got some habanero and Tabasco pepper I need to do something with. Yeah. I think that'd be enough. If not, then. I don't know where you put it. I don't either. I don't even remember bringing it in. You must have done that. I think it's in the carport. No chance. You brought it in the house. You remember that? A hundred percent. I wouldn't have left my drill outside. Okay. Is it in the that red box? In the red box? Yeah, right by the Gatorade. No, the... Will you grab me a DP while you're right there? <laughs> That's the red box I was talking about. Oh, I'm so confused. It ain't in there. You messing with me? Yeah, will you get me one of those? Oh, you're my hero. You're welcome. Thank you. Two down. Gracie? Gracie, what are you doing? Goodness. All right. What are you doing, Miss Ma'am? We're back. Sorry for the brief. Hey, scoop down. Confusion. Any spice choices besides Cajun? Here, let me have that. Ron eats that. snapper. Snapping turtle. Mm -hmm. Son loves crustaceans. Nice. That's awesome. What's that? Anything shellfish, crawfish, shrimp. I guess probably even clams, oysters, stuff like that. His son eats it? Eats it. How old is he? I don't know. How old your son, Corey? I know he's got Should a little be daughter. The trigger on that pelican I talked about the other week. Isn't his daughter like eight or ten? Awesome. Like that? Yeah. Here, buddy, you want the blue one? This jig's brought to y'all by Dr. Pepper. Oh, I wish they would sponsor us as much as you drinking. Yeah. Y'all can emails in the about me, Dr. Pepper, just reach out. I'll uh, start holding your labels facing out. Your son's 13. Awesome. Can't wait to get to that coast. That's going to be a lot of fun. Man, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. It's got a teenager. Oh, teenager. Yep. We don't got that yet. Ours acts like he's a teenager. He's a three-nager. Little stink. He ain't three yet, mama. Almost. He'll be three in August, huh, buddy? Yeah. Dylan, we're is it your have, birthday? We're going to have a train birthday this year. Smokewood Maple. We weren't doing YouTube, but we did a um, we did a fishing theme for his first birthday. One officially one. It was cute. I had it was all it was all the things. You got a four year old baby boy, nice. And then little Miss Soraya, we've seen her. Doing the doing the stuff with you. Just rise in between. Yes, sir. The first three, I always wrap three real loose wraps, and it is extremely loose at that point. But then you can pull down. You can tighten it up and pull down and kind of roll it, and it 
we'll just kind of disperse it around. And then as you tighten it up, you see how it flares crazy. You just hold that down. You can put some loose wraps on there and that'll kind of a little more shape it and you can sense it down tight so that it won't move. Talks us in thumps. You can buy a whole alligator from Louisiana Crawfish Company. What? For real? That was your, oh, that's Baba. You can buy a whole alligator from Louisiana Crawfish Company for smoking or barbecue. That is insane. <laughs> Uncle Larry sent me to use gumbo sauce, pre steam the shrimp with seasoning, he's frying up Cajun sausage. Man. That's what I'm talking about. You can trim all that wild stuff off. <laughs> yes, that's insane. I imagine that's probably not cheap, though, huh? They leave the skin on, head and feet? Ew. What about that? It's absolutely not cheap if it's still got alligator skin. Your dad's saying that you can order, like, a, um, a whole alligator from this company. My dad says things. Just my... I'm just kidding. Thinking about doing one for our birthday? You're going to order... Good Lord. A whole alligator? You're going to terrify our kid. I'm just saying. I'm down. I'm down to try it. Don't get me wrong. What's up there, Ted? How you doing, my friend? Man, I know the title says painting jig heads, and then here I am tying. But we already painted these. Um, earlier today, but we put a new kind of a paint job on this one. Pretty excited to see how it turns out after it's all tied and done. Need those knuckles, jig boots for sure. Oh my gosh, this is the type of excessive that I would be if we ever owned a Jeep. What is it? This guy designed a wooden something or another. So that, so that she could take the top off by herself. Oh, my gosh. She just drives off. <laughs> yeah, same. Get that all trimmed up good. Yeah, that uh, that waterfall we put looks like a striper bucktail. Awesome. Yeah, he said uh, wanting to head for <coughs> catch some bass, so this hopefully will work for him. Is this from tonight? Yes. I gotta flip this over here. Off the hook. I would love to catch a striper. That would be a blast. Sophie and I really want to take a guided trip one of these days. I do. For, um... For strippers. I really do.
That would be would be awesome. Drop some of this tinsel down the side and we'll be good to go on this one. I really like those core shot Cinco's you made, Ted. Pretty sweet. I've never used a core shot, the core shot colors at all, I don't think. <clears throat> Some pink splash here. Of course, it's all about the same length. I try to take care of everything, make sure everything's you know, even. Stop in and get some support. Hit that like. I appreciate it. Get up at 6 a.m. Daughter's at a softball tourney. Man, that's crazy. Is it an away game? sounds like it good luck to your daughter though at softball that's exciting and i appreciate you stopping in hitting the old thumbs up button got up to 15 looks great already <laughs> thank you i appreciate it off the hook been filling those baskets yeah he has yeah i try to take you know it i'm slow but I take my time, make sure everything's even, and main thing is not, nothing's going to come off, come apart, anything like that. I try to, <coughs> we try to make sure everything's pretty solid, so. Ooh, hush puppies. Hush puppies? What about them? I've never made hush puppies. You want to? Yeah. Okay. I'll well, eat we've them. got catfish in our freezer. I know, we got to eat those things. Catfish and hush puppies. I know isn't that like the most common classic oh, duo? Yeah. Um, I think I missed it from a what did Big Malone say. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Travis said, um, did you hear about the fight at the seafood restaurant? Two fish got battered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> that's a dad joke. I've never heard of That's one. awesome. Of course, Dr. Cool will take a little more to make. Yeah, they look like a lot of work, especially like, you know, individually oiling all the rods and stuff. It's pretty wild, but it was really cool to you have see. You flies on your forehead. I know. It doesn't surprise me. We all like it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, Tiss. Travis drum rolled himself or what? It's not a drum roll. It's a... I don't know what it's called. It's called... A, it's it's a, off the drum zone. A badum Tiss, yeah. I don't know. Yes, sir. Have a good night, Mr. Ted. I appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. How many people are on? Right now we got five awesome people on here, it says... Made a German chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. Sophie made a German chocolate cake. Yesterday on my way home from work, I called her and she's like, hey, guess what Guess what flavor cake I made? I'm like, German chocolate. Like, How'd you know? I have no idea. Just... You didn't get the frosting right, though. You said coconut something. I had 0% chance of getting that correct. It's coconut pecan. Yeah, it's fantastic, though. It's really good, too. It is It's probably really the best cake I've ever made. And I've made some cakes in my five years of marriage. You've done made some cakes. 
Sounds so delicious. Yeah. Who said that? Jessica did. Okay. It is. It was. It was really good. Oh, buddy. What happened? It made a perfect gradient. Oh. Uh. Sticking it in the wheels. All right. Oh, Dylan. Get all the extra stuff off there and turn around. Hey, Mr. Rich, how are you? Just setting back up here to show y'all. What's that setting on? Nothing. No, nothing? Okay. Trying to get this back up here, so I can't get this out. Dylan, don't make some. How many times am I gonna tell you that? Well, anyway, I don't think it's gonna work. Anyway, let me turn this around here. That's good. Yeah. There we go with the pink, all pink. Really coming in from the back side of this. Looks better. Pink with the flash down it. Sophie will get the eye put on there and whatever, but. Here, man. Yeah, there's that one. And it's, you know, it's pretty wide compared to, compared to my hand. That's all quarter ounce. Um, Quarter ounce heads. It's a three aught. Um, we only use Victory hooks, VMC, whatever Victory hooks. So they're good, good hooks. <coughs> Didn't you want to go fishing at like first thing in the morning? Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Looks great. Needs to see, yeah. Oh my gosh. A fisherman was showing a magician a magic trick one day. He told him, pick a cod, any cod. <laughs> I've never heard of these. That's that's funny. Travis got the jokes. I like it. Is he Googling these? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> if he is, he ain't never going to tell you. That, ain't nobody going to own up to that. Hey, sleeper, yeah. All right. One more with green eggs and ham. This is the drum roll Corey special right here. You this know what to do a, with that, right? Yeah, just brown and a... I am, I can't lie. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was? Is, he is Googling it, yeah. Those are good. I've never heard those. All right. But they do good. Yeah, but I'm just. <laughs> but they good. They are good. Dylan Fisher. All right. Put the old. Oh, made you up. Put that one up. Is the green eggs and ham this green or a different green? It is that green, the guacamole. Oh, okay. It's gonna kind of be a natural color too. Honestly, it's a. You know anybody named Sam? Sam? On there? Not on here. This is really pretty. Huh? This is really pretty. It's going to look bomb once I get these. You like that one? On. <coughs> you driving? Corey driving? He's not driving and chatting on live. Surely. God. If you are, don't get in a wreck, man. I'd hate to be responsible for Thumpy getting in a wreck. Is he sending emojis? <laughs> yeah. You well, never he, know. Or short, short responses. What was that? I don't know. Dylan, did you drop something or did I drop something? I did drop something. You dropped something? What'd you drop? More tires. That's going to be the grand finale. A bleeding shad. That one's going to be sweet. Okay. What? That might be your last one. Last one for tonight. 
After the green eggs and ham? Yeah. You put you kicking me off? We got a busy day tomorrow. What do we got? Fishing. Oh, fishing. And we got a baby shower. <laughs> You've shot all chances of going waking up at seven AM. This one's I'm not get, waking up at seven AM. I'm getting up at daylight. I'm gonna be Oh, you have fun. On the water, calling y'all at, day, at daylight. You're not going to call me. No way, hell. <laughs> Baby, I'm sleeping until noon. No, well, not till noon, but probably... Responsibility. Yeah, she Ooh. is. She's responsible. Who said that? Corey. It's 11-18. Rain I'm, hit and Bluey going cray cray. I don't think it's responsibility. It's I'm a mom and my kid needs to sleep. Well, that's responsibility. Or he's mean. Him not mean, mama. Uh, you say I'm gonna be victimized by <laughs> There's victimized, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Little toddler, he's a he's a mess. I don't know where he where he learned this, but he does this thing now where he'll walk up to you randomly and kick you. Yeah, it's real sweet. Or he'll start punching you. I think it's because we took him to that boxing event. <laughs> the punching, not the kicking. Right. You're not supposed to kick with the... All right, let's flip this around again. To show you all the final pink. So if we got it sealed up and got the eyes on. See there? Where's your car? Victimized today by another bigger cat. Reopen the wound, Sophie. Ouch. <laughs> what happened to him? See the other side. He got victimized. Oh, yeah. Cat just broke his green eggs and ham off. Again? Yeah. Another one. Well, he's got more coming to him. I know, but still, it's a shame. Yeah. I love that white head with just the pink splattered. That is sweet. Look at that right there. That is awesome. I'm How digging it. <laughs> I'm digging it. I like it. Oh, here's a jig right here. I like Since it. Since we're showing off pink jigs. Hang that one up right there. What is that? I don't know. Something you made a while That's ago. That's an old eagle claw hook. That's so pretty, though. Don't show them that feel. No, I'm joking. It's fluffy. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, put some googly eyes on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then green eggs and ham will be a pretty quick build, I think. It's just... Baby, you're fine. I'm just... Hmm? It's that little difference between a piano and a fish. A piano and a fish? Mm -hmm. Uh, 88 keys? You can't tune a piano fish. You can't tune a fish, but you can tune a piano. <laughs> uh, that was a Travis joke. It wasn't my joke. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. Did you take all night to come up with that one? No, I just seen him say it. Um, you can make one more with that. Oh, yeah. Or a couple. I can make some small like, crappie jigs. It's uneven. I want to cut it so bad. I know. It's pretty horrible. Oh, dad jokes. Yellow shirt. My shirt's yellow, why? <laughs> You're talking about... Oh, Corey, what is that? Do you see that? Right there? Look at that. Oh. Uh-oh. That's the secret weapon right there. Is it? Yes. Oh, Christmas tree. Asbestos it tree. It literally says Merry <laughs> Christmas. It's, yeah. <laughs> There's so many jigs remaining on this tree. What happened here? I've got it deboned. How how are you cutting that off? Oh, <laughs> With I see. scissors. Oh, okay. What do you mean what happened? Corey happened. <laughs> he said all praise. All hell the magic conch. Magic conch. Every time we ask Dylan what, who, who Spongebob is, we'll like show him a picture and be like, who's that? Actually, he's got a little tent that has Spongebob on it. Yeah. It's a little play tent or whatever. 
he tries to say SpongeBob SquarePants, but it comes out Silly Squared SpongePants or something. It's so <laughs> funny. Hey, can you say SpongeBob SquarePants? What? Say SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. You're not even trying, bro. Not even <laughs> it catches every time. It's best as all praise. Lol. Wow. What? It's thick right there. Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah. You like the rain, Corey? Down in Africa. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't know. <laughs> it was just the first thing that moved to my head. You know that song? <laughs> I felt the rain down in Africa. Toto. Toto, yeah. You're ridiculous. Miss my jig. Is my dad know, still in there or did he, his phone die? He said his phone was dying. It looked like it held its shape after getting wet also. Nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We need to put a thing on our website on how to care for the jigs. I know, yeah. All you do is just let them dry out and then, like, brush it out with, like, a small comb or something. And then they get fluffy again. As long as you don't break them off on catfish. Oh. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Just kidding. Did you hear that, Corey? It's a bulky old guac, yeah. What is that? <laughs> it's <tape. laughs> Ew. You like it? <laughs> I'm gonna get my nails done like that. Get that out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. It's horrible. It's so pointy. <laughs> yeah, did you hear that, Corey? Did he? I think so. He said, Sophie, no. <laughs> My heart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's funny. All right. Get that all trimmed up. That's just something I have to do on the computer, though. I don't think I can do that. Oh. What? Adding a t text to our website. Oh, yeah, I know. Because it's something I don't know what it's going to look like yet. You might just put it on a whole other page. Just like yeah, a I'm, I'm care a, instructions yeah, that's, page. That's for sure. <laughs> look at Dylan's. Hey, <laughs> did you make a thumb, too, buddy? Do you want to come show them, or are you good? I'm trying to show y'all. All right, come here. Dylan wants to come show y'all. He made him a funny thumb, too, like Mama did. Put this exacto knife up. Get it away from him. Come here, Bubba. Bubba. He ain't got no shirt on, so y'all have to forgive him. Look. What in the world? <laughs> Look at the Play-Doh thumb. That's so crazy. Did you make you a crazy thumb, too? You're silly. Don't touch the fly. Don't touch the fly with it. You don't want to get Play-Doh in the hair. Ew. Ew. Yeah. No, don't touch me with it. <laughs> I don't want that nasty thing. Oh, I don't want that nasty thumb. Hey, Baba said hello. Okay. <laughs> Travis. Hello. What? Let's say hello. Baba said hello. Lola say hello too. What's Lola doing, do you think? You think she's just hanging out in the house? Yeah. Hey. Huh? He used to go. He used, he used to, to say, Lola's he, sleeping. Yeah, he goes, Shh, Lola's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> it's only on Monday through Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Mondays and when through Wednesday, Lola's sleepy. Is this on my finger? What's on your finger? There he is. Oh, everybody say hello to you now, buddy. Such a handsome dude. Say hi to everybody. Thank you. He gets it from me. Gets it from you. I'm just 
Here, don't get it. You got hair in it, buddy. Crazy boy. Uh oh. All right, you out of here? I'm a play -Doh. You ready to go? No, I'm on Dada. -da. You want to sit on Dada? Okay, fine. I'm not gonna tell you no. Oh, what is this? That's some. He outlasted Soraya. <laughs> He's pretty, uh, he's pretty, pretty tough. What is that? That's some flashy, flashy stuff. Yeah, Y'all both do for haircuts. That one's making the flies. That's for making the flies? Yeah. He calls everything flies. Daddy, do blue. Blue? I'm not going to do blue on this one. Whoa, just pink. Not on this one. Look, see the color of this one? It's green, kind of a green and brown. Here. We need a green or a brown one, Mama. I need green and brown, too. And I'm making a ball. You're making a ball. I've got, actually, I've got a really ball? good green. I think this one's yellow. Yeah, use that one. Yeah. Daddy, you want to hold it? You want to hold it? See a bundle one? It's like a light yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, buddy. All right, hey, I'm going to put you back down. Let's go over here. Oopa. Daddy making the flies. Oopa. There you go, buddy. All right. Let's put some green down the side of this one, too, just for a little more color. Oh, so that the catfish video, which is probably a couple weeks out. Yeah. Um, like right towards the end of it, we had, it's a, it's a college pond and the college people like to blast their oh. punk music they got and some, play basketball and cuss and stuff. The newest rap music available and it is thumping. It, yeah. Oh, so look. hopefully we can like dial that down and we have to like cut the audio or something. Hey, really? for, hey. Just for the reason of not getting strikes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll be able to pick it up. I don't know. I don't. We don't even know if you can hear it because we haven't pulled it into the Mac. But a blue airhead, little Travis would have done. Would have tore that play doh up. <laughs> He's surprisingly very good with play doh. He he hasn't. He doesn't try to eat it. He's always loved play doh since he was like probably like. A, a year and a half or two years old. Yeah. Gracious, what are snoring? Our chihuahuas passed out on the couch snoring. Can't wait. Awesome. Is sleeper still in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope you like these. Uh, he... Of course, if you ever have any trouble with anything on them, coming untied or anything, holler at me and I'll, uh, we'll make it right. Cause you shouldn't, we, um, I tie them down kind of excessively and then Sophie seals them. Excessively. Seals the threads excessively, especially on these bucktails. Now the crappie jigs are a little more dainty and it's kind of nature of the beast with them, I think for some to Every now and then. What about a little baggie? Did you take my little baggie? Get some good line for sure. Hey, what's up there, Mr. Earl? How in the world are you doing? He says, Sophie. Hey. Mr. Earl always spells your name out. <laughs> Crazy. Thing about that light ring is it kind of blinds me on this side of the jig. Just got in from bass fishing. Awesome. How'd you do? I know you've been doing good. You hadn't been getting skunked, so that's good. 
No. Have a, did I get skunked video? What are you doing? Currently only run an eight pound mono. You see anything on there? No. Mm. Why? Well, I've been hearting it up. Oh, I don't know what that does. Does anyone know the little like heart button that's like down in the corner of the chat? What does that do? I've been do? pressing it and nothing's happened. It doesn't happen on, nothing shows up on my screen. Better than I said in my video. Nice. Eight pound mono will be plenty if you run, um, you know, set your drag properly, you know, whatever. I fish these on, I've got 12 pound um, fluorocarbon. I throw on my bait caster if I throw these bigger ones. And then, of course, the crappie jigs are on our four-pound line, either on our four-foot ultralight poles or we've got some uh, ten-foot jigging poles as well. All have four-pound line. Actually, Sophie's jigging pole has six-pound line, but... <coughs> she said, hey, did you hit the thumbs-up button? I just got here. You just got here. How do I do that? Oh. You just hit the old like button. What number was that? 16. 16. Nice. Natural state fishing. What was that? Charter tomorrow. Use Glenn's jigs. Dude, that is awesome. That's exciting. Tomorrow's in 20 minutes. You're going to... Tomorrow's in 20 minutes. Good. Are you going to live stream that? Or are you going to absolutely make a video, I'm sure. But, man, I'm excited to see how they do out there in the saltwater. Where does he live? On the reef? On the reef. No, he, he lives in a... Does he know Nemo? <laughs> he lives in Oregon. Oh. Headed out. Send you pics if I catch fish on your flies. All right. Thanks, oh. Jolly. Dude, that's awesome. Let us know how to make them swim baits. Yeah. As soon as you get that old uh, mold in, holler at me. And uh, you already know. <laughs> we gonna... I've got just the pond. We're going to go get some content with those swim baits. Well, Big Malone's in the old pro, uh. pro staff now as well. Seeing him joined up in the old Jolly Bait pro staff. So that's pretty sweet also. Oh. Not Nemo. What? Nemo's going to get fried. Uh-oh. Wonder how old Cedar Lake's doing. Ooh. I don't know. I appreciate it, Dathan. Yeah, Is that man. the lake that the guy keeps... Was wanting to... Meet us at? Meet us at, and then we forgot. Yeah, that's Corey. That's Stumpaholic. He's the guy that Oh, was... that's him? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, that's the dude that I've stood up. <laughs> oh, I feel like a jerk now. Yeah, I know. I thought that was some other guy. Who no, did, that who was... Who did I think that was? I don't know. Yeah, that was Corey. We, we, we were literally, like, not even in town, though, that day. I was at, like, Washington with Travis. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wasn't even there. I wasn't even with you. We had talked about it, like... A month in advance or prior, and I forgot. 
like a goofball. And then went on out of town. Oh. That was so bad. I felt so bad. Stood Corey up. He drove four hours to come meet me at a lake. And I'd forgotten that we had made prior engagements. And uh, I went out of town. I forgot all about it. Who is this other Travis you speak of? What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, we deserve that. <laughs> what hey, an idiot. Hey, Travis, and who's this other Travis you speak of? He, is a co-worker him. of yours. Oh, yeah. My bad, yeah. So rude. Yeah, I know. I was. I felt bad. I was on my way to the lake. Another lake. With, we are rude. No, we're not. Bay, yeah, I was on the way to a different lake. I was on the way to Lake Washita, which is two hours. The lake I was going to meet Corey at is like right here, and the lake that we went to was like way over there, like two hours directly the opposite direction. So it was like six hours away from. It was so no no, we're only like an hour from Cedar Lake. Oh, we suck. I know, he drove four hours and we were, it's 45 minutes from our house. Okay, so what happened? Did he like camp or something? Yeah, he stayed the night and then left because the fishing was horrible. It was horrible. I, I'm, we're terrible people. <laughs> oh. Well, I've got... Where's the rest of this Play-Doh? I'm missing quite a bit of it. I have no idea. Where's the box? I don't know. Where's... Where's the box, buddy? <laughs> Corey just sends a smiley face. God. All right. So... I need red thread for this. Red thread or white thread with a red? Because <laughs> of the catfish remark. Don't look at me. You haven't addressed his comment. What happened? Who's this other Travis you speak of? Yeah. It was, it was a dude from work. My bad. You need to get to bed. Get a 4.30. Gather all my stuff up for tomorrow. So I went fishing tonight instead of doing it. Man. 4.30 a.m. is not... That's soon. Well, he's Pacific time. So he's two hours. It's only 9.41 out there. Oh, Okay. But still, I believe, I believe that's correct. Okay. He, he about seven hours. He goes to sleep right now. Right now. Pass out. Right now. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> that's what he says is our son, Dylan. All right. Good night, Mr. Earl. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Good luck tomorrow on your charter and, uh. Take a bunch of pictures of Glenn's jigs hanging out of a bunch of crazy ocean fish. I want to see it. Oh, he's talking about the Play-Doh. What is? I don't know. I didn't eat the Play-Doh? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. I don't miss something. I've missed something. Get up here. Oh, here's some of the Play-Doh over here. Oh, yeah. Travis was looking for... You were looking for the Play-Doh. Travis was talking about he would eat the Play-Doh. Why? The younger Travis. Oh. Even gave me a like. Man, I appreciate it. Corey, we're going to buy Oklahoma licenses soon. And then... uh. Ooh, what is happening? It's getting hot, uh, heated up in there. What happened? I don't know. Stop. I can still take it back, though. Oh, yeah. That, his like. that like. Uh-oh. What did, what did we do to him? I did you know. stand him up, too? Earl? I don't know. I don't know what happened. This is spiraling out of control. <laughs> I don't... We did don't you get... finish that drink? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I really like putting eyeballs on. Do you really? Yeah, I like it. It's soothing. It gives me purpose. Maybe... 
I don't do nothing. What is going on? <laughs> don't do nothing. <laughs> Travis. Big Blow's clown. I am Earl. We'll do again, I'm sure. Speaking of clowns, we went to the our, our local circus. What was it, a couple months ago? Yeah, it's been a while. Back in our... It was my our, first time being in a circus in general at all. It was yeah. Dylan's first time. And he loved the little the little um, clown. Circus he, clown. He really did. It oh, was, my gosh. His name was Leo. He was so funny. It was a good time. We got a custom coloring book. Yes. Show it was so it. much fun. It was totally worth it. Dylan kept eating peanuts and popcorn. and. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Corey, we're going to have to make... Is that... <coughs> what do you want looking at? <coughs> Bless you. Thank you, honey. Um, I'm already blessed. Corey, that pond that, or the lake that you fish, often with the wooden structure, all the bridge and stuff. Yeah, I want to go there. Is that public lake or is that a private access? Private, I guess it's public, obviously. There's always people walking around you. We're gonna have to make the trek over to your neck of the woods one of these days, and we got a few people we want to meet up with. I know. I want to. I'd love to get all the way out to Oregon and meet up with those people, but they're way. How far away is Oregon? Uh. Let me look. Unreasonably far. Like, probably. What state? Thirty What's, hours. What city? Just say Newport, I guess. Do they have accents there? Uh, yeah. Earl has an accent. Does he really? And he actually, he's not even from Oregon. No. My dad's from Louisiana. He sounds like a. He sounds like cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You know, you, you, you know, you've been living here too long when you hear recording yourself and you sound like cornbread. And you just sound like cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. They have a thousand left? Okay, I'm losing my mind. There you go. All right. Let's get this. Oh, 33 one. hour drive. Cornbread. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> From here to Oregon is 33 hour drive. Yeah. I knew it was pretty uh, insane. Or two days and 18 hours by bus. Your dad said cornbread, I guess so. It'll take 685 hours to walk and 199 hours to ride a bike. That's insane. Neither one of those things I want to do. There's the green eggs and ham. It's just literally just a brown, kind of faded into green. That was the only time I used my GoPro was at Cedar Lake in that muddy puddle. It's all public. You fish. Awesome. Sweet. All right. There's Sleeper. There's your three. Uh, we've probably been to Arkansas. He said. Come on down. We'll teach you how to speak like cornbread. <laughs> 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 Yellow eggs and spam. <laughs> <laughs> this guy Pack me up Where did Where is he talking about I don't know Where did he get that from Our green eggs and ham He said yellow eggs and spam <laughs> That's so funny <laughs> You can't make a yellow one now <laughs> Make a yellow one Spam is like red Yellow and red <laughs> Spam is like a Fake pink Color <laughs> It stands for something posing as meat. What's that one? Fuchsia. Is that I guess. purple? Yeah. That is so funny. That's what spam stands for. Something posing as meat. Is that your last meat. one or caught a weird fish tonight. What'd you catch? Yeah, I'm gonna end it on this one. This is our grand finale, this bleeding shad. Okay. Dylan's starting to stick his hands in my shirt. In my <laughs> yeah, when Dylan gets tired. He like puts He's, his hands like just in your like, sleeve, yeah. Just like in his sleeve. That's his sim symbol for he's tired. What kind of fish do you catch? A puffer tonight, fish. Earl? What? You said a puffer fish? 
He did not. He he sent a puffer fish. Oh, Isn't that a puffer fish? Yeah. He didn't catch a puffer fish if he was bass fishing. Sleeper. <laughs> Pike minnow. Didn't even know they were in the creek. What's a pike minnow? Is that minnows with teeth? Don't Sounds pike, like it. Didn't pike have teeth? Yeah. I'm gonna look that up. I have a feeling it's like scary, like the little like the little dangly light. Like an angler fish? <laughs> yeah. Earl, the t the day you pull up an angler fish, I'm Northern walking pike to Oregon. Minnow. Walking to Oregon. That'll take 685 hours. Well, if if Earl catches an angler fish, Malone knows. It's known as Columbia River Dace or say that squawfish. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a biscuit. It's an invasive species fish. It like oh, a, they're big. It looks like a big fat minnow. I mean, Why is it so big? That's weird. I I heard minnow and I assumed it was going to be like a little you know, three inch long. How big do pike minnow get? Up to 35 inches in total length. Good 15 miss. pounds in weight. Would y'all be interested in watching us run a trot line one day? A female pike minnow can lay 30,000 eggs annually. Is that not a lot of eggs? That's a whole lot of that's what eggs. I it was about eight inches long. Dang, that's crazy. I would what? I said something and I don't remember what I said apparently. <laughs> what? what? I don't know. I would what? I said no fish. I wish I could still hear. Used to younger than they changed the laws. Used to when you were younger. Used to what? Trot line. Oh, oh, there it is. My bad. All right. Jeez, I forgot. Trot line. Okay, sweet. You would. You wish you could hear or used to trot line. This one was a male. Let's just say it didn't have any eggs. Evidently, it really liked me grabbing it. Gross. <laughs> Hopefully I get some of them fish. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, if we Whoo, this bag. This one stank. Oh, Ooh, I hit you in the face. <laughs> Ooh, that was rough. So in perspective, like the one. what I just said the, about the pike minnow, it lays yeah. thirty thousand eggs yeah. annually. A bass weighs between five thousand and twelve thousand. Really? Mm-hmm. That's what the internet says. Maryland a trout line means you're going crabbing. Oh, really? It says only two would need to survive to adult size to maintain the size of the adult population if each pair of bass spawned only once. I didn't know that. You, you lay all the eggs for just two of them to lift? What? Nature's brutal. Yeah, that's true. It just kicked on, bud. <laughs> that was like instant. <laughs> I got some... Red deer hair. I dyed this hair. Actually, we dyed it ourselves. <laughs> what? I'm done with it. <laughs> Smells like yellow eggs and spam. It's horrible. Noodling with Sophie and Matt. The zero percent chance. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, if we um if we catch a catch some fish on a trot line for sure. We went to the college yesterday. Went catfishing and we caught twelve catfish. So. Listen to this. Somebody Google this. <laughs> Do bass remember being caught? 
Okay. Research has proven a bass has memory, which lasts no longer than 15 minutes. There's a 0% chance that that's accurate. The website says bassresource.com. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think that that's true. I've listened to podcasts with, like, Shan O'Gorman, who's a wildlife biologist. Mm -hmm. And they have done studies on... Bass memory? Not necessarily memory, but instinct of... They'll, they'll catch electroshock bass up in, like, Lake Erie. Take them like 60 or 80 miles away. Tag them with GPS tags. Oh, I know. They'll get and like... release them. And they'll get within like 100 yards of where they shocked them up. Like, they were, some of them would travel miles. I think it was like 60 or 70% of their sample, pop, sample size made it within like 100 yards of where they were going. This also says repetitive... Of where they were shocked up, I mean... Re repetitive behaviors condition fish. That's why they become hook smart. It's also why they learn to come to fish food. All right. Get some red here. Get it all trued up. Oh, this is interesting. Bass are fantastic. They're all. Do awesome. bass stay with their eggs? Heard six months. Oh. The females roll in the spawn. Good night, Mr. Earl. When the females roll is over, she's free to leave the spawning area or mate with a new fish. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the internet's brutal. <laughs> Baby, nature is brutal. Yeah. It, it says the male will stay. The male and watch. literally builds the bed. He did all the hard work. And then the chick walks up and sprays eggs in it and then leaves. And then he is stuck to guard the eggs and the fry. Oh, but can they, they only spawn like once a year though, right? Bass? I mean, one that once. Mm, not, or, I mean, depending they... on climate. Oh, really? Yeah. Some, some can spawn like a couple times a year. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm done with the Google. I cannot find the container to this. That's big mom wants. <laughs> she says she can't find the container to the play doh. Does Big Malone want want it? <laughs> oh, there's the rest of it right there. Dylan, where's the blue container? Mm. What'd you do with it? Where you put? Here's the lid right here. Oh, here it is. I don't need it. I already have my fair share. Oh man. <laughs> he said he don't need it, babe. Oh, she found the container. We'll keep it. Let's get some flash down the side of this guy and get it done. Four minutes. Four minutes? I ain't gonna be done in four minutes. Four minutes till midnight. Till I didn't think that we were going to end up being live very long tonight. I thought we were going to be just maybe like, you know, 30 minutes or 45 minutes of They Remember Lures. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm here. You too. What? What happened? What happened, Corey? What? I don't know. He said, that's why I'm here. Oh. And he said, you too, Matt. What's that mean? I don't know. Huh? Are you saying stuff and I'm forgetting it? 
I think so. <laughs> I'm coming up on almost like 20 something hours I've been awake. So. What? So I'm coming up on like 20 hours that I've been awake. You took a nap. Oh, I took a nap. Hey, boy. What you think you're doing just coming over here jerking on stuff? What are you trying to do? Well, come make yourself at home then. He went and got his red block. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out with the... Let me know when I owe you on Instagram. I can do PayPal. Absolutely. Yes, sir. That'll work. I'll message you on Instagram. Um, and we'll, I'll talk to you about it, everything. So. Yes, sir. I'll message you. Um, as soon as I get off here, I'll message back and then... Uh, We were making it is cool yeah i bet no i mean not many fish have seen the green eggs and ham color so well a bunch of fish around Corey's area has so the catfish too sophie said i'm pretty excited about this red the red one here Once I get it done, Sophie will slap the eyes on there and then we'll, um, I'll show you all in the forward facing camera or the rear facing. Hey, what on earth? Get this, get the threads evened out so it looks straight and. These last wraps I always cinch. I mean, they're they're tight. Like your hand starts cramping. <laughs> All right, uh, lure making definitely new stuff. Thump that tall bridge you fished at lunch was that bank concrete. I like the coffee thumps this morning. That was a cool little spot. It looked like a little boat ramp. Those bluegill bedding up. They got keen to the little pink crappie magnet, whatever thing it was, though. Good night, y'all. Fading fast. Love my family. All right. Good night. We love you, too. We'll see you. See you tomorrow, or I don't know, tomorrow or Sunday. Definitely Sunday for sure. This is our last tie here, and then we're going to go get off here as well. I'll slap the eyes on this one. Some riprap. Turn this down, y'all can see kind of the, there's the aftermath of an evening of tying. We've got a bunch of, there's all the jig heads we coated tonight. Yeah, it, uh, all that hair, it gets, it gets everywhere, trimming it up, but.
need some of this. What was that sound, Dylan? Mm -mm. What was that sound? Mm -mm. What happened? Mm -mm. What happened? Mm -mm. Put this here. Put the eyeballs on here. There's one. You see the eyeballs there. And we'll seal it up good. You think reflect, Google. Oh, yeah, that Play-Doh would pick it right up. Googly, oh, I know. We need some googly eyes, but. Get this here sealed up good. Get this sealed up. Pretty much everyone who um, watches this live, you know, after I, we publish it later, they're not gonna make it this far. The watch, it's hard to watch lives that you weren't on chat for. It's kind of hard to, I don't enjoy them near as much. Yeah, leavings. That was a bunch of leavings for sure left on there. Get the head coated up nice and be good stuff. Bunch of leavings. <laughs> oh, Loctite. This is um fingernail polish. Just clear, rapid dry acrylic fingernail polish. I've got, you know, Loctite. I've got the UV quick dry, like epoxy resin stuff, the UV stuff. Um, and then just like straight up normal head cement. But. Yeah, the glass. Glass is cool, but it's kind of... There we go. That's the bleeding shad. What do y'all think about it? I think it looks all right. I think that is crazy. What? You like that? It's pretty sweet. Let me turn it around, get the other side here. That 
that's uh that's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm i like it i dig it uh, anyway see a nice shine on the threads looks like a gill oh yeah turn this around here figure out how there it is all right, all right. Look at this, the bleeding one, Bay. Look how it turned out. Huh? Okay. Look at that one. Oh, wow. It's sealed, so it's wet. Look at that. Oh, I was gonna do that. Okay. You like it? I do like it. Looks good. I dig it. Are you still on? Okay. Yeah. I'll put that up here in my. I'm shutting it down for the deal, man. My personal row. See y'all. Right. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the whole process. Y'all seen from the time I get, open the jigs up to the time that I seal them. <laughs> that's the whole process right there, though. I mean, that's from start to finish. So we got bunches, bunches of eyes. Yeah, that's a that's how we coat them. It's the whole process. And there's quite a bit of work. I mean, they're tedious going there, but a lot of work goes into those little, especially the bucktails. Now, the crappie jigs, they go a lot quicker. They're not near as detailed or intricate, which also they're cheaper as well. But yeah. Anyway. I think that's going to end it for us. we got 18 likes, seven people still in here, it looks like. So I sure appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. We're going to get off here and uh, go see if we can catch any fish on these guys, stuff like this, <laughs> stuff like that tomorrow. So a little. Yep, yeah, we'll try to be on live tomorrow night. Um, about nine o'clock central time we'll try to be here so should be should be able to make it we're gonna go fishing uh we're gonna try to take the bass boat try to take the bass boat out tomorrow um put new spark plugs on it and i got a new prop i got a four blade 17 pitch i think it is 17 pitch prop runs a lot better it added like four miles an hour on the top end so um we're gonna take it out sophie's not roading it yet with the new prop so take her out on it we're gonna play around and try to side scan a brush pile throw some marker buoys out and catch some crappie and um that's what these are gonna go for they're gonna drop down on top of that brush pile and see if we can bug a crappie into biting for us so and she may bass fish too i don't know but i'm gonna try to try to target the crappie but anyway God is great for sure. Thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to get off here and uh, hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow with a bunch more fish tails. So we'll catch you all later. Thank you guys so much. Sleeper, Mr. Lance, I'll email you. Um, I'll get back with you here in just a second. And we'll see you all, all later. Have a good evening. Thank you all.